Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be reviewing this sensational butter lace wig in loose deep 24 inches in the color 1B. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the pack. This wig has big, beautiful, like bouncy curls, and it definitely has like those loose, deep waves. It doesn't have much parting space, but it is very soft, and the lace does melt very well. So I'm gonna start off by putting the wig on my head just to make sure that it fit. So this wig didn't fit me like ear to ear. I'll show you like later on in the video. There's kind of like a gap above my ear where the lace doesn't all come all the way down but it did fit my head size. I would say that I have like a medium size head or like maybe the average size head. I wouldn't say that it's big head friendly only because it didn't really fit my hairline. To start off with installing, I'm gonna go in with my matte powder foundation and put that all over the lace. This was the only thing I used to tint the lace and you'll see how well it still melted just with this powder foundation. So I wanted to start by clipping the hair out of the way and then just cutting off any extra lace that was like hanging over my ear. Um, lace, it didn't have any hair on it. Um, so that's why I feel like the wig didn't really fit because it just had like just empty lace right there. There was no hair, so. But it still worked out because the wig was so big. It covered my ears. So I just made sure that with the side that I would have my ears showing, I just made sure that most of the lace and the hair was on that side so if i tuck the hair behind my ear it will still look good to install the wig i'm gonna just roll the lace back and i'm gonna go in with my ebon adhesive spray and spray that along my hairline i went in with one layer of this underneath the lace and then i pulled the lace on top of it stuck the lace and the hair like into the adhesive and then i sprayed another layer on top of that so you'll see me do that So after going in with that second layer, I just combed all the hair back and I put on my elastic band and I left my elastic band on for about 10 to 15 minutes just so that my lace could melt. And because the wig is already pre-styled, there's nothing you can really do to it. I also tried not to use like any combs or brushes or anything because I didn't want the hair to be any bigger. So I changed during that 15 minutes and then I came back and I cut the lace off using an eyebrow razor. Um, I just prefer to use this over scissors. And here is what I was talking about as far as like there was no lace or any hair right there. So there was just this big gap. But I was able to hide that with the hair that falls on that side. So just keep that in mind before you order this wig that it may not fit you like your full hairline. Because most 13x4 and 13x6 wigs do fit me ear to ear. So I'm not sure if this one is just a little shorter or what. But after I finish cutting my lace, I'm just going to go in and do my baby hairs. I do my baby hairs the same way for the most part on my synthetic wigs. I did use Wet Line Extreme Gel, but I forgot to show it to you guys. But it's the same Wet Line Extreme Gel that I always use. Um, I think this one was the clear one. Sometimes I use the green one, but it's the same. There's no like difference between the two. So I just use that to do my baby hairs. And this was a super quick install like it took me no time at all honestly and i would order this wig again however i do have some cons with this wig so besides the fact that it didn't fit me ear to ear it's also a lot of hair so this is not like an everyday wig um i actually only wore it for one day so i can't speak to like tangling or anything like that i would expect it to tangle because of how much hair it is and because it's pretty long 
but it was so high I couldn't even keep it on for you know more than a day I had to take it off I also didn't like the fact that like you can brush it but the hair will get a little bit bigger and I wouldn't recommend putting like water or mousse or anything on there to like maintain it and then it's like even if you were to wear your bonnet or whatever to sleep it'll just get kind of like frizzy and you want the curls to be like nice and uniform and just you want to keep that wave but it's like this wig isn't the easiest to maintain like I said, I would buy it again, but it would have to be for like some specific reason. Like I wouldn't just buy it just to wear it on a day-to-day -day basis. With all of that being said, I really did like how this wig came out. The hair is very soft. It is a little bit shiny. It's not as shiny as it looks because of my lighting, um, but it is a little bit shiny. So you can definitely like dull that shine with like baby powder or dry shampoo i didn't mind it i actually got a lot of compliments when i wore the uh, wig for that one day i got so many compliments i felt super pretty like i said i really like the curls on this wig i like the hair on this wig and i really like how easy it was to melt the lace it's just not an everyday wig and i didn't like that it didn't fit um i will leave the link to this wig in the description box below i purchased mine from ebony line so i will leave that down below if anyone is interested in purchasing this wig let me know what you guys think of this wig in the comments below as well thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye